and hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm going to tell you a brand new video for the tutorials of GS. Now, today's tutorial, we're actually going to be looking at GIMP and how to use palettes as well as creating your own custom gradient. Now, before we go into this tutorial, I want to just distinguish between what I mean by custom gradient. Now, I am aware that you can easily create a custom gradient of two layers, and if you don't know how to do this, this is how you do it. Um, you can go right here, foreground to background, and you can easily create your own, you know, custom gradient like so. However, there is another option to create your gradient in a much more detailed way, where you can have more than just two colors blending. You can have as many colors as you want. And this is using the palette. Uh, first of all. You're going to need to open up the palette window and the gradient window. And if you don't have those open already on your right side over here, then you go to Windows Dockable Dialogs and you go ahead and click Gradients. And it should pop up down here. Or where it should pop up somewhere. Uh, we also need to go to Windows Dockable Dialogs and click Palettes right here. And you'll see your palettes. Now, Palettes are pretty cool. A lot of them are already uh, pre-made, and you can basically use any of these palettes as a gradient. For example, well, the foreground is now white. Let me change that. Oops. There. If you wanted to use this green one right here, you'd right-click, and you'd click Palette to Gradient. And when you use your gradient, it actually uses the palette. Uh, we look at this one here. Palette to gradient. As you see, <clears throat> a lot of these palettes can be used as a gradient. So our goal is to basically create our own palette so that we can use it as our own gradient as well. So the way you do this is in your palette uh, dockable dialog here, you go down to the bottom here and it says create a new palette and you can ex expand this if you like and basically what happens here is right now you can name your palette and we're going to name this um, red thumbnail and the next step is you're going to be using your foreground color here whatever color you want to be in your gradient you're going to go ahead and pick so we're going to pick red and then you click this button right here. It says create a new entry from the foreground color. And as you can see, a red entry is created right here. Now what I want to do is I want to create some black ones. One, two, three, four, five. Five black entries. And then we want to go use our red again. And as you can see, we now have uh, five black entries in the middle and then two red entries in the ends. And you can go ahead and click save here. And then you'll see that this is actually, uh, this gradient is now part of your gradients filter here. Actually, you first have to um, right click in the palettes here. After you've created the palette, the, pa and the uh, palette you created is now part of the list here and you right click and click palette to gradient and then your palette will be added to your gradient so whenever you want to use this gradient you have it here um, from here on you can rename it if you'd like you can also right click and you can click edit gradient oops wrong one and with these sliders you can actually move this around to edit your gradient and edit how how far stretched or how narrow you want your colors to be separated. So a pretty cool gradient editor that we have here. You can play around with it if you'd like to perfect your gradient. Uh, you, can also do, you can also do this with several other gradients as well. But that's if you'd like to edit your gradient. Now, you can also go back over here. If you wanted to edit, your, if you wanted to edit the palette, you go to your palettes here, right click, and edit palette. Right here, edit palette. And you can add and remove 
new entries if you'd like. So let's go ahead and use our gradient now. Here's our gradient, we've added it, and on the left side here is now also part of the gradient section, and you'll see it's right here, red thumbnail. So if we were to use this now, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the size on this. As you can see, we've now created a cool little gradient that we can now use for a YouTube thumbnail if we wanted to. And we could just type in YouTube tutorial. A little too big. Right? And there we go. So, very easy to do, very quick as well. Um, this is a great way to make custom gradients as well as custom uh, palettes. Uh, these gradients also work for your text if you wanted to put the gradient over the text. Uh, right click the text layer, alpha to selection, grab your gradient and then pull it over, select none. And as you can see you can also put it over your text layer if you wanted to do so as well. That's pretty much it guys, very easy to do. If you want to make your new palettes or um, as well as new gradients, you can do that just by following these steps right here. It's a really fun method as well, you know, you could play around so many different combinations. Um, I'm gonna show you a quick, a sample of a bunch of different colors you could create. So once again, we, we go into palettes, we create, create new profile, we'll create new palette, I mean, and we're just gonna call this random colors. And we're just gonna add, like you know how you know how they have a rainbow one here. Where is it? Here. Say say you wanted to have this rainbow one, but you didn't want these colors. Well, what you could do is you could create your own rainbow one. So uh, random colors. Here we go. And then we're just gonna go ahead and you know get a red, add entry. Then we'll, we'll get the blue, add entry. We'll get a green, add entry, uh, what am I missing, a, a sort of yellowish add entry, um, what else, orange, add entry, let's get some pink in there, add entry, right, so say you have these uh, rainbow clothes you wanted to use, then we go to save, then we go back to our palettes and right click palette to gradient and in our gradients column right here there it is random colors and it's here as well go back to our layers our background layer and oops tada you can create your own rainbow gradient if you didn't like the uh, custom one. So pretty cool, pretty cool way to you know make your own gradients. I love the feature. It's uh, you can really get creative with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys understand how to make your new gradients and how to use the palettes because and a lot of game users don't even know there's a palette section. Don't even use it. But um, hopefully you've learned something and I'm happy that I could show you guys how to create gradients and perhaps you can use these new gradients in your new designs when working in GIMP. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too, really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone, and this is GSMASMART, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.